Rigging a character involves capturing geometry to the skeleton joints in such a way that rotating the joints deforms and bends the geometry. Houdini uses a biharmonic capture method which gives great results for your first capture so that you can start testing right away. Later, you'll paint weights to refine the results to work specifically with your character. So here we are in the 3D view, and what we want to do is add in the network view. We might want to give ourselves a little more space there. Go Maybe go up a little bit here. Uh, and we're going to put down a node called Bone Capture Lines. We're going to put these down and wire the skeleton into there. And all that does is just add some information to the lines that will allow us to work with that. We're then going to go and put a, a node called Tet Embed. Now this one is going to use the geometry, doing a little bit of thinking, doesn't have enough information to do it yet. Uh, put the bone capture lines in this side and then it will capture and then this. And so what it's basically doing is create a, a special piece of geometry that will make the biharmonic capture of this uh, work much more smoothly. Let's move this up here, move this here. We're going to go tab bone capture by harmonic. And what this one will do is take the information from the original geometry and from the tet and bed. And if we go here, you'll see that we're getting actual capture weights placed onto the geometry. And these are associating um, the weights with specific bones coming in through this side. Now, to, to see this and to test this, uh, what we then do is we put down a bone deform node. Now the bone deform node will need um, a number of different things. So it needs weighted geometry coming in from this side. Then it needs a rest, um, so it's not the lines, we're actually gonna bring the skeleton mirror into here. And we're gonna put the skeleton mirror into here. And that does the trick. To test it though, we're gonna put down a node called rig pose and attach that onto that this area here and this node will allow us to actually grab uh, any one of the the bones or the joints rather and work with them and we probably don't need the templating anymore uh, we might bring it back later but uh, we can go in we can rotate the neck oh, well, that's sort of weird uh, we can go and do the go do the knee. There we go. Want to counterbalance with the ball? We do that. And we've seen that. Generally speaking, the biharmonic is on a pretty good job of the capture. Don't really like what it's doing up there, but we can always go in and um, we don't like the neck. Just delete that and do it fresh. So here we have uh, the rig ready to go. And with the handle tool active and the rig pose, we're able to go in and test some of this out and see what it's doing. Now, the next thing we're gonna wanna do uh, is to add more bones and just refine this uh, even further.